teach you how to do a back handspring, a back handspring step out, and a back tuck on the trampoline. They are very similar, but they are a very big challenge. If you like challenges and you have a trampoline, then you should try this out. But if you don't, I'm sorry. And if it's your first time trying this, then have a parent, guardian, or somebody older than you, you could trust to stand next to you so you, for safety. So, right now, I'm going to teach you how to do a back handspring. So first, you bend down and you swing your arms back. And, when, and try not to lean your chest forward too much. And when you swing your arms forward, you stand up straight, basically. So you unbend your legs and you stand up straight. So I'll show you two times or three times. Two or three times slow and about one or two times fast. So I'll show you slow. Here's another time. I'll do another time. So you can get the just so you can see. Then swing your arms and swing back. So actually I'll show you another time slow. I'll show you them fast. And I'll show you another time fast. Another time fast. So now, if you got this and you want to go to the next challenge, you should try the back handspring step out. I'll show you how to do it. They are basically the same thing, just you step out like you would in a handstand. See? Like, like that. So, when you do the back handspring, and your hands hit the ground, then you should separate your feet and step out, like this. As you could see, when my hand touched the ground, then my feet separated and stepped apart. So you step out with your good foot. I'm a righty, so I step up with my right foot. I'll show you the right way and the left way. This is the righty way. And this is the lefty way. It depends what, um, what's your good foot. If you're a righty, then you, then you put your right foot down first. If you're lucky, you put your left foot down first. I'll show you two times slow and one times fast. with both feet. Come back. What's that? I'll show you one time fast for both feet. And another time fast for one both the left foot. So if you got both of those and you want to try an even bigger challenge, then you should try the back tuck. So first, it's the same thing. You bend, and when you do jump, but when you jump, you jump more up than you do out. So I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll, show, I'll give you an example. If you could see, my legs are in, to help your legs be in your chest more than they're like this. To, to help you get your legs in, like in your stomach, you have, you should hold them while they're in the top even though it goes very fast. So I'll show you one thing fast. I'll show, you, well, I'll show you this fast. And I'll show you a few times slow. So, so when you slow, you gotta jump, you gotta jump up more and hold your feet, like that. And, and I'll show you another time slow. When you do this, then you can jump more up than you do out. <laughs> you can step out if you want, but it's more easier if you don't. So, I'll show you, I'll show you another time slow, but don't be upset if you don't stick the first time, because it's a, a very tricky skill. So, I'll show you another time. Now, if that 
that's a little too hard for you, then you should try it this way. You should jump a couple times and swing your arms back and go. As you can see, I swing my arms back while I'm jumping too. It's just gonna help you get, it's just gonna help you get, maybe get the one that I was showing you before. So, you wanna swing your arms back while you're jumping too, but you're not gonna bend your legs. You're just gonna jump, swing your arms, and go back and out. And go back, mostly, go back and up, basically, yeah. So I'll show you one time slow. Okay, if you don't swing your arms back, but it might make it a little easier. So I'll show you another time slow. And now I'll show you. Now I'll show you. Um, one time fast, two times fast. Ready? I'll show you again. As you can see, I really try getting my knees up. So, if you got all those challenges, then give us a little pat on the back, because those are a few of the hardest skills in gymnastics. So, I hope you have fun, and see you next time.